eight-year-old Egal says his friend Joseph is a dead ringer for David Schwimmer, who plays Ross on the hit show Friends. Hi, Egal. <laughs> These guys know who that is. When did you first notice that your friend Joseph looked like David Schwimmer? Well, about a year ago when the show first came on, I was watching TV with some friends, and it came on, and I see Ross, and I was like, that's Joseph, I know this guy. And they're like, no, 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 how could you know him? He's on TV, he's not in Toronto. And I called him the same night and I said, you're on TV. And he didn't believe me either, but a few weeks later, he saw the show and he agreed. Now, so you didn't know David Schwimmer before that? No. And he had never seen him before? He had no idea that he looked no. so much like this guy? No. That is so wild, because I guess we all have our, our double somewhere in the world, everybody says that. Now, do you guys get noticed in the street a lot? And we went out a few times and he said, watch this, you gal, and we were just walking down the street and everybody, well, it was a Saturday night, but everybody waiting in line for a club turned around and to look at him. And now, are, are there any benefits for you, having a friend who looks like somebody so famous? Oh, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. You like the attention? Sure. Okay, are you guys ready for this? This is unbelievable. <laughs> Come on out here, Joseph! <laughs> Split screen monitor. Let's have a look at, at both David Schwimmer and Joseph. That is uncanny. Flo, what do you think? I think he looks an awful lot like him. I really do. That's why I'm I so mean, when I walked, you know, backstage today, I saw him. I said, wow. <laughs> yeah, What's almost it asking like? for an autograph. Uh, <laughs> almost, yeah, quite, yeah. Now, David Schwimmer is huge right now. Any, all those friends people are. Mm -hmm. What is it like looking so much like him? It's, it's funny. I mean, it's at, still at the point where it's amusing. Uh, it hasn't become annoying yet. So it's, it's pretty good so far. So, there, so far you haven't really noticed any drawbacks to it? Or? Um, well, just every so often, I mean, people find the, the wrong time to tell me that, oh, by the way, do you know you look like this guy? Like, yeah. <laughs> and, you know, what's next? Uh, so, you, so you actually sometimes wear disguises to... Uh, no. Sunglasses? No. And well, actually, it's funny because with sunglasses, people notice it even more. Oh, really? <laughs> so. Somebody had a question over here. Was, yes, ma'am. Yes, I just want to ask this gentleman if he's ever met um, Jerry Seinfeld. Yeah, I did actually. I was, uh, it was like three years ago at the Fox Theater in Detroit. And he comes out and I'm like, hey, how you doing? And he's like, yeah, he kind of looks like me. I'm like, what? <laughs> well, come on. <laughs> what did Jerry say? He says, yeah, he kind of looks like me. Took a picture with him and like laughed. I was like, yeah, come on, let's do a show. Yes, sir. I've got a question for the David Schwimmer look like. I see that your hairstyles are very similar. Did you do that on purpose? I, I assume that you did it just to make yourself look like him. <laughs> I can vouch for that. <laughs> I've known him for two years and he, it's been the same. Yeah, it's, yeah. Been the, it's been the same basically for the past 10 years. Uh, so. <laughs> And it's funny because that hairstyle now, because of David Schwimmer, is huge. Every guy has that hairstyle. Uh, but all, yeah, all of a sudden I'm fashionable. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. My question is to either one of the lookalikes. Have either one of you considered uh, making any money from uh, you know, your looks? Uh, well, I went out to uh, L.A. to the Ron Smith lookalike agency uh -huh. and they said I could make like fifty to $100,000 part-time. Oh. Which, which is fifty to $100,000 more than I'm making right now. So. <laughs> So why didn't you why didn't you pursue it? Well, we're we're you're still working talking. on it. Good, good. <laughs> Joseph, tell us the Vegas story. Well, it was kind of funny. I was down there uh, in April, and uh, on the way back, I'm at the airport waiting for for my flight, and this fellow comes up to me and says, uh, "Excuse me, are, are you uh, David Schwimmer?" I'm, no. Can I see an ID? <laughs> uh, I'm like, what? So he says, "Well, we have this bet going on. Uh, some of us said that you were. Some of us said that you weren't." Uh, so I'd like to see the ID. Apparently they bet a thousand dollars that Did he I, win or lose? I think he won. I think he won because he seemed pretty happy. <laughs> <laughs> what are some of the benefits of looking like this? Uh, well, it's, it's kind of funny because you get some, some interesting situations. I mean, we were down the, in um, Disney World uh, over Christmas and uh, first of all, going down there, we flew through Cleveland and this lady's stopping me at the airport again. I've got all these airport stories. Um, and she's like, excuse me, uh, you're an actor. I'm like, no, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Fine, I just turned around and walked off and I said, fine, I am. <laughs> you know, I just... <laughs> you know, um, 
I have a question behind you. Yes, uh -oh. sir. I was wondering for either celebrities, do you find it easier to get women that you know coke <laughs> <laughs> no, come on, Dan, we want to hear it. Uh, the, the Indonesian one? Yeah. We were in Indonesia, of all the things, and uh, jo uh, Jody was with her boyfriend, who happens to be my brother, and uh, we were uh, at a topless bar. <laughs> And this, this, they wanted to meditate. I wasn't closing my eyes for a minute, but uh, <laughs> this girl comes out to me and starts talking to me like I'm Jerry, and my eyes were wandering, and I told her that it wasn't him, and then later on that night, this is how long it's been since I've been in the dating scene, we're, uh, we're sitting at dinner, and she drops a, a folded napkin with a heart on it in front of me. So I'm like, oh, fold a napkin with a heart, put it in my back pocket. And one o'clock in the morning, I'm like, fold a napkin with a heart. I pull it out, it says midnight, uh, rainbow room eight. I was like, what? <laughs> you blew it. Now, Joseph, how does your wife feel about all this attention you get? <laughs> um, well, she, she, let's put it this way. She doesn't like it when the young girls rush up to me. <laughs> uh, but uh, she's, she's rather indifferent. She doesn't think that I look like him. Well, uh, we sent our camera out into the street with you guys. Let's have a look at how you guys out on the street reacted to our lookalikes. a celebrity, but you guys both look like two of the hugest celebrities that there are. I mean, you, you, guys, you must get so much attention, and you look so much like them. Don't you guys think they look so much like them? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Um, this is a question for Dan, is it? Jerry? Yeah. Um, I was going to ask you if you do impressions, but I guess you do. Can you give us your best one? Uh, uh, my impressions? Jeez. Uh, I could do a godfather. <laughs> <laughs> well, because Dan, you say that you you you've been acting like this your whole life. I mean, you don't you don't make any effort whatsoever to be like Jerry no, Seinfeld. I didn't even watch the show at first because people thought I dressed like him and mimicked him. So I said, Ah, forget that. I won't watch it. No one could accuse me of dress of imitating him. So. But they do say everybody has a double somewhere, and yeah. you and he are it. When we come back, we'll meet 19-year-old Islam. <laughs> when she find out we were doing this show, she couldn't wait to tell us about her friend Haima, who looks just like Brooke Shields. Don't go away. We'll be right back.